The Yuba City Unified School District putting out a letter to parents today mentioning this health advisory asking schools to shut down. So starting Monday, campuses like this one here will be empty. It's a little bit hard since she learns more at school. No Ignacio just learned the tough news. His younger daughter will be at home through the holidays instead of in the classroom. Like it was just for two hours, but those two hours they help a lot. It's for her safety too, so I mean we're okay with it. His family happy to be healthy as Yuba and Sutter counties call their communities COVID situation dire with full hospitals and a climbing positivity rate. A new health advisory now asks schools to go back to distance learning, naming them as one common place to gather and potentially spread germs. The Yuba City Unified School District is listening and the county is thankful. It's heartening to see that they're actually considering the science, considering the risks and, and, and it, we understand it can't be an easy decision no matter what. Yuba City Unified sending out this letter to parents acknowledging COVID problems of their own as staff members test positive. The county's health advisory also recommends shutting down other businesses. If they have to condense it down and get a hold on it, then so be it. But the schools, that's where I'm like, I don't feel it being a really big problem. Parents like Angela Duenas understands that much but still wants to see kids on campus. We've shut in our children so long and I feel like if we're going to get it, if we're going to catch it, then you're going to catch it. We're still waiting to learn what other school districts have planned, but the Yuba City Unified School District had students from preschool to fifth grade on campus under a hybrid model. Now no one will be back here until at least after winter break. The Yuba Sutter Health Advisory expires December 28th.